before we get into this video, I just wanted to show you guys what my morning is like. So yeah, this is what I do on a typical morning. Good morning! So I'm gonna run down to the corner of the street and grab some Chinese breakfast and show you what that looks like. Right down. Around where I live in Suzhou, they don't really have restaurants that provide breakfast, but they do have these little stands where you can go get food before you start work. So what I get to eat is this almost like a tortilla bread that's very unique, and then she puts hot sauce, lettuce, chicken, and wraps it all up for me, and I take it back up to my room where I put on a TV show and drink my morning coffee and have my little morning routine to myself. Once that's finished, I decide to get on my bike and head across town where I'm meeting the girls for our adventure of the day. All right, so today in this video, I'm taking the bullet train for the first time from Suzhou to Shanghai. And you know, I couldn't do it by myself. So I've got Helen and then I've got Kate, she's buying food. So what we did was we went ahead and bought our tickets online. What app was that? It's on WeChat. On WeChat. So all you need is like your passport information and you can reserve your time. And then we're gonna get some breakfast, take a Didi, which is like Uber here in China, to the station. I'm gonna take you with me so you can see what it looks like to take the bullet train here in China. Out of the count. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all about a good bowl. Now we are in the DD, which is like the Uber of China, and we are heading to the train station. So now we've arrived at the station, and we have to show the tickets on the phone, and there they are. And our passports, I think we scanned them. So update, we got here, and in the past, you were able to like scan your phone and your passport and then just get on the train. But when we got there, apparently that's no longer the case. So we've been sent to get a physical ticket and this is the line. So we're gonna miss our original train, but we're gonna get a ticket for the next train, so. Finally made it into the station with our new tickets, and now we are finding our gates. Only in China can you get Starbucks. <laughs> All right, so this, this is one of my favorite things that we don't have in the States. So, it's to carry your drinks. When your drinks are cold, you set it in the middle, and then wait for it. You lift it up like this. And it creates like a little hammock for your drink so you don't have to hold it in your hand when you're like going long distances. I've even seen ones that have like a bottom and you can put like four drinks. This is the future. <laughs> also, uh, the guy just said that they use it to protect the environment and they're reusable. So, win, win, win. <laughs> it's like when you're at the airport or when you're at like at Yang Airport, you just slide your passport in and like you're let through. So last time I was here, all we did was show our e-ticket, like when we first got to the train station, and then we scanned our passport to get through the gate, and it was so easy. Not anymore. But I just got China real hard. Everything changes very quickly here. And here's the bullet train. Bullet trains are excellent to use if you're trying to save time. What would normally take an hour and a half drive to get to Shanghai only takes 23 minutes by bullet train. So we have a standing ticket, which means we literally stand just in the corridors, but once the train goes, if there's open seats, we can try and steal them. That's first class. I doubt there are any open seats. We'll steal some first class. <laughs> Subway tickets. Hold on. 
Oh yeah, girl. Oh yeah. All right, let's check this out. Where are we going? We are going to, so we just got our Metro tickets to go to our station and now in, when you get off the bullet train, you actually stay within the same complex and you just go down, down the stairs when you get off the bullet train to the Metro. And that's where you get your ticket, find out where you're going, and then you take the Metro. Another thing to kind of keep an eye out is when you use the restrooms in any train stations, a lot of times they don't provide toilet paper, so you need to bring your own. Also, most places will have the Squatty Potty style toilet, which is actually pretty fun if you've never tried it. Um, but there are a lot of places where on one of the main ends, they will have one Western toilet. So um, definitely check out the end stalls for a Western toilet, but sometimes they won't have them, in which case you get to try the Squatty Potty. Finally, we arrived in Shanghai, but we weren't staying very long, only to go to a cafe to meet someone really quick, and then to head right back onto the train because we all had work later on that day. Behind the scenes of getting a cute artsy photo of a ring in coffee beans. Yeah. The next day was a day off for everyone, and so I met up with another English teacher at this really cute cafe and spent the day hanging out with friends. So, <clears throat> sorry about the noise, but I found this really cool spot that covers Suju. And I thought I would show it to you guys. So now I am at, there is a skating rink on the third floor in one of the malls here. Here, malls are a lot different than back home. There's a lot more attractions and like things to do at the mall. So we are gonna go ice skating. I've got my skates. Me and my friend Connor. Over there. Smile! And with a really fun ice skating session under our belts, I'll end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye! See you! Bye!